Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Leanna. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant with our little rainbow baby girl and I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I'm going to be bringing in my hospital bag and her hospital bag as a first time mom. So I packed all of my stuff inside of a carry-on suitcase. Reason being is I didn't want to carry a bag. I thought it'd be easier if I just have something that rolls. I could put David's bag on top and then I could also carry the baby's bag and then he could just deal with bringing her to the car and any extra stuff that we need to bring with us. So yes, I have it in my carry-on. I have everything packed into like these little travel packing bags, I guess you could say. They look... um. Just like this, I got them off of Amazon, so everything that I'll show you guys, I will be linking down below. But I always pack with these. What I really like about these little bags is that you could separate everything into their own little categories, and then it just makes packing so much easier, because if I need to grab something, I could just grab the bag. I don't need to, like, dig through everything. But in this bag right here, what I have with me is... um. I purchased my own hospital gown and I know the hospital gives you one but I hear they're like a little uncomfortable so I just ended up purchasing my own one off of Amazon and this is what it looks like it's already washed so it has the um there's a little fuzz on it right now but it has the buttons on top right here where you could pull down so if you're breastfeeding or if you're doing skin to skin and then on the back it has the buttons going all the way down so if I'm getting an epidural or something then it's really easy for them to access my back. I have um, these little fuzzy socks and on the bottom of the fuzzy socks it has the grip so that way I'm not slipping in the hospital. Um, I also have these socks that I'm going to wear when I'm delivering. It was a a gift at my baby shower that my aunt got for me. So the one of the socks says keep calm and push and then the other one says just kidding get this baby out and it has like for little curse words on top which I thought was really funny and cute. I am bringing only two nursing bras with me. Um, I got these off of Amazon as well. And they look like this. So I just have a like more um, neutral color and a gray one with me. I am bringing two different pajamas. So one that I have, it's a dress. And it's long and it's buttoned. Which I feel like buttons are going to be so convenient because obviously... I'm going to be breastfeeding and skin to skin contact. So this is the one um, dress and I got it off of Sheen. Both outfits I got off of Sheen. The second one that I have, um, it's a pants set. So these are the pants and really stretchy, which is going to be good because obviously um, I'm probably not going to want anything tight on my stomach. I do plan on having a vaginal birth, however, I don't know, obviously, if I'm going to have to have an emergency c And then this is the top. Again, it has buttons, and it's so soft and thin, so it's really cute. My coming home outfit I also got off of Sheen and it's just this little um, pant set. So this is the top, just like an oversized shirt. And then um, I have a black nursing bra from the same set that I showed you before to go with it. And then uh, these are the pants. Again, they're just very stretchy and loose. I also have a sweater that I purchased to go with this. Um, me, the baby, and David are all going to have matching ones. So I got this one off of Etsy. And it just says Mama, which is really cute. David has one that says Dada. And then they didn't have sweaters for the baby. So I just got her a little onesie that says Baby. And I'll show you that later on when I pull out her stuff. 
The next thing that I have with me is this little um, toiletry bag. I got this from Ross and I already have everything packed in that I need. Um, I didn't go out and buy any sample size stuff. I already had little reusable sample size bottles. So I just filled it up with stuff I felt like I need. So I have conditioner in here, um, a face wash, body wash, a little loofah. Uh, I have face cream because my face does get dry. Um, if you've seen my baby freebie video, I got a lot of trial size products in there. So I do have that with me. I have the Palmer's lotion and I also have um, the prenatals with me. So that way it's skinny, slim, just fits in here. I don't have to sit there and carry anything big with me. Deodorant, um, Little, these are like little scrunchy hair ties. So yeah, everything that I feel like I will need, I have in here. I don't wear makeup other than like lip gloss or something. So there was no need for me to try to pack any um, makeup. So the next thing that I have with me are my electronics. I actually got this little case for it at Target a while ago. I wanna say it was like five bucks, but I bring it with me everywhere. It's so convenient. And inside of here I have my charger i have a long one because i hear sometimes outlets aren't nearby so i have a long charger obviously my little charging block but i also have a charging bank a power bank just in case um i'm not by an outlet and it doesn't reach then i have this accessible for me i also have my airpods and I'm not sure if I'm going to be bringing my vlogging camera. I would like to, but in case I don't or if I forget it or something, I already have this camera pack. So this is the DJI Pocket 2. It's like, has a little gimbal on it. It has a little screen right here. So this is very convenient to use, very small. I don't know if my hospital is going to allow me to record my birth. I would really like to, so we shall see. But yeah, this little camera. And then I also have a little fan just in case I get hot. So I purchased this one again off of Amazon. And it's just like this. I think it has two settings. So yeah, so that's the faster setting off um, slow and yes, I honestly probably should have gotten the one that you put on the stroller, but whatever, this one's small and I could just fan me or have David fan me or something. And also my tripod and this one is like flimsy so if I do bring my vlogging camera then I could just put my camera on it, hook it up to something and not even worry about it. Next I have this small little travel size tote. It was another gift that was given to me at my baby shower and what I really like about this it's so thin and sleek and I hear that the hospital gives you a lot of stuff and to take everything that's in the room because it's already paid for. So instead of me hauling like another bag or trying to have room inside of my bag for it, this is perfect because it's so small, it's foldable, and whatever's in the room I could just easily put in this bag. And then I also have this little laundry bag. And the reason why I bring a little laundry bag with me is one, it's super tiny so it's not taking really any space in my bag, but also like... If my hospital gown gets all like bloody or dirty or something or anything that I have for the baby gets all dirty or David as well, I like keeping my clean clothes and dirty clothes separated so whenever I travel I always bring this. So it's just a great little bag just to put all of my dirty stuff in. The next thing that I'm going to be bringing are slippers and shower shoes. So these are just regular flip flops from Old Navy, really cheap. And then I also have these slippers that I got off of Sheen. And I want to say they were like five bucks. They were really cheap. But so that way when I'm walking around in the hospital, I have something on my feet and I'm not just walking around in my socks. I have a water bottle that I'm bringing with me. And this one is insulated. And it also 
brings a straw already connected to it. So I just have an extra one thrown in my bag again so that way it's not something that I forget last minute. Plus I hear like you're really thirsty after and if you're breastfeeding obviously you need to be drinking a lot of water still. So this is perfect for that. In this bag I have some postpartum items. I am not bringing a lot of postpartum items with me because again I hear the hospital will supply you with everything but what I do have is this little freedom mom bottle I forget what it's called like a, a peri bottle or something um and the reason why I'm bringing this one with me is because it's angled so I don't have to sit there and use the one that's in the hospital where it's just like this and you have to like shoot it straight up this one's just easy to like use it's angled already so I am bringing this and then I am also bringing the always panties basically like diapers and I have three of them with me again I know the hospital has like little mesh panties and pads that you could use some people say they're uncomfortable and other people say that they're fine but I know when I had my miscarriage that we were at the hospital they gave me those mesh panties with like the pads inside and they were so uncomfortable so I just have three with me I'm not bringing any more and if for some reason I do go through all three then whatever I'm just gonna have to suck it up and wear the ones that are at the hospital and the last thing that I have for myself is a robe um, I don't know if I'm really going to be in my pajamas much or not, but I do definitely know that if I just want to be like in one of the diapers and one of my nursing bras, the robe is going to be a great cover up. And also, since it is going to be December, hospitals are cold, it's going to be cold outside, um, this way I could just stay warm. For baby girl, I have some of her stuff in my bag and then I also have some of her stuff inside of her diaper bag. So just in my bag for her, I have a cute little swaddle set. So this is going to be um, her little headband type thing, little hat that she's going to be wearing. And this is the swaddle set that I purchased for her. I got it off of Etsy. Again, I will link everything below and there's this company on Instagram I forget what it's called like nested newborn nested or something like that basically what they have is like a swaddle set and they have a cover that you could put on the bassinet like really cute stuff for you to take pictures of the baby while the baby's at the hospital however it is like 80 plus and I don't want to spend $80 or 80 to like $100 on something that I'm just going to use for the hospital so what I ended up doing was I ended up purchasing this um, diaper, was a uh, changing pad cover, and it came in a tan and in a white. So the tan I already have in her room on her changing pad, but the white I'm going to bring with me because it does fit the hospital bassinet. So I'm going to put this on the bassinet for her and have her in this swaddle just to get really cute pictures of her. And then I also have this blanket for her, which is really fuzzy. And again, it's winter time, so whenever we bring her home, depending on how cold it is, if she needs this blanket, I could put this blanket on her. But if not, if the hospital is too cold or something, I could always wrap her with the blanket. So this is all what's in my bag. What I didn't mention is that I do have a birthing plan, so that will be added. And then I have a pillow and a blanket, but it's already in the car. David packed his bag already. His bag is already packed in the car. So we ended up putting the pillow and blanket in the car as well. So I will be bringing that. For baby girl, I just have her diaper bag. And her diaper bag is already packed for not just a hospital, but just a diaper bag in general. So um, this is the Eddie Bauer diaper bag that we will be using with her. Um, it's from Target. And inside, I have two outfits for her. I don't know which outfit will fit her better. So the one that I really want her to wear is the one that's going to match David and I sweater. So this is the onesie that just says baby. And then she has little black pants to go with it. And then she has... um. A little hand mitten so she doesn't scratch her face and she has little booties which are 
so freaking cute they're like little uh knitted booties um she also has a pair of socks in here and then a hat to keep her little head warm if this outfit doesn't fit her i have a different outfit that's a little bit smaller and again um obviously she's a little girl so she needs to wear a little bow so i have this little pink bow in there for her this is actually a um like it looks like a little pajama set but it looks like this and then it has the little matching hand mitts it has her little booties there's also a hat but i felt like the hat looked kind of like really small i mean i don't know how big her head is gonna be but she has a hat or the bow and then she has socks i'm not too concerned about bringing a onesie because i know the hospitals will have onesies that she could use since it's winter and it's gonna be cold we got this little cute um i guess like winter suit for her it's so cute it has like little bear ears on it but she's gonna be wearing this over any of the hospitals that she'd be wearing just to keep her warm i also have a little wooden announcement in there so it says hello world and then it has for her name date hide and wait and i also have her baby first year's book that i'm bringing with me and the reason why i am bringing this book is because if you see it in here there's a page where it says footprints and i believe it says handprints yeah tracing of hands so i would like for them at the hospital just to like stamp her little feet and her little hands in the book some of the other stuff that i have in here which it's not for the hospital it's just stuff to have in her baby bag is um a nursing cover but also this could be used for her car seat and then i have um this is for like diapers little bags that you could throw the diapers in so they're not smelling i have pacifier wipes on the back of her bag it's this little um pacifier sterilizer and inside i already have a little pacifier with a clip for her it does have a changing pad so i have the changing pad just in the back portion of the bag. On the side of the bag, it brings a little case where you can put wipes at. So I do have wipes in here already, but I just have them still in their packaging because I don't want them to dry out. Again, if you haven't seen my baby freebie video, these are off my baby freebie video, so go check that out. In the front of the bag, I have this little like makeup looking bag, but inside of here, I just have little travel size stuff for her. So I do have two little washcloths. I have um, diaper cream, a little small thing of diaper cream. I have baby oil for her, lotion, soap, and um, another thing of a diaper cream. It's just a bigger one. I also have these little diapers um this is size one and i believe these are like a newborn size so i have two newborns three size ones in here hand sanitizer and a spray then i also have some medication for her so it's just gripe water since i had extra ones i figured i might as well just throw one inside of her bag and then i actually have a bigger size of diaper cream the last thing that i have packed for me to bring is a boppy so this is the boppy that i'm going to be using again with a little rainbow theme it's already washed and everything but I'm bringing the boppy with me because I hear it's a lot easier to breastfeed when you have like a breastfeeding pillow with you versus just trying to use the hospital pillows because I hear the hospital pillows are very thin. So I will be bringing a boppy. I'm also going to be bringing my photography camera because I would like to get really nice pictures of her, especially pictures of her and David. So very excited for that. Something else that I have not packed yet but that I am going to pack are snacks so i will be bringing our own snacks with us just for before labor after labor i know they have like vending machines but i really don't want to spend the money on snacks if i could just bring my own and then i know they also have like a cafeteria where i'm able to get food but i'd rather just have our own snacks not only for me but for david as well so i still need to get that other than that that's all i'm bringing with me to the hospital um again i am a first-time mom so i don't know what to expect if there is anything that 
and you feel like I don't need to bring, comment down below. Also comment down below if there's anything that you think I do need to bring, like a must have, like girl, have this in your bag, you're gonna need this. Please let me know. If you'd like to reach out to me, as always, Instagram is a great way to reach out to me. I will have my name link down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the little bell so that way you never miss a video with me. Give this video a thumbs up if this is something that you really enjoyed and you want to see more of. Also a little disclaimer real quick. So the links that I have um, below where you could purchase some of the stuff off of Amazon is connected to my Amazon storefront store. So if you do purchase anything from those links, I do get a small commission from it. Um, you don't have to. If you just want to look it up on Amazon and just purchase it that way, you could go ahead and do so that way. But I just want to be very transparent that I will make a small commission if you do want to support and buy anything off of those links. But until next time, bye guys. Thank <music> you.